Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Hello? Hello, Jay. Good morning. Good morning, yourself. How are Listen, you? I'm ringing up to find out how do I go about putting my name down for a number for your rickety wheel. We've gone across this many, many times. I know, Jay, but... It's I'm... quite simple. It's quite, all you have to do is put your name in a piece of paper, get a small envelope, write Jerry Anderson, care of BBC Radio File, Derry right. Stoke, London, Derry, send it oh, to me. send it to Derry? That's all you have to do. Sorry, wait a minute, I have a dress. I have one done, but I have a dress to Radio Ulster or Moore Avenue. Well, you see, that would still get me too, but that's a, that's right. a circuitous route. The best thing to write down is Jerry Anderson, care of BBC Radio File, Derry Stoke, London, Derry. That's all you need to know. Uh-huh. And your name will be put in the hat because, after all, we've got a marvellous array of prizes. And uh, I give the impression earlier on that we had no prizes, but nothing could be further from the truth. Jay, I thought this was a wind-up. It's not a wind-up, but do you want me to tell you some of the prizes? Yeah. I have them in front of me at right. the moment. And they're coming in as we speak. Uh, the, the flower stop in Derry Stoke, London Derry, will give us uh, an unlimited... I mean, what kind of flowers? One, two? Uh, some flowers? We need to specify that. I don't want flowers. A bouquet of flowers. Well, bouquet you know, flowers. it says flowers we'll stop. give flowers. Yeah. You know, it could yeah. be pee the beds, for all I, I know. No, no, uh, what you can you, so you get flowers or flowers? Oh, we'll get flowers. We're going to get flowers in the flower stop in Derry. And here are some of the other ones. Let me just take the liberty of reading some of these out to you right. to see if any of them catches your fancy. Uh, David McAllister has contributed two gallons of dark green emulsion. Jay, that is a wind-up. No, I'm Who serious. No, you see, there are good prizes and prizes... Well, and uh, Dan Fitzpatrick has offered to bronze a pair of baby's shoes. Oh, wouldn't I? I would, I would, I would go for that. You see, that's okay. Uh -huh. I'm afraid from Yuri's going to donate a small painting. Uh, Charlie Nash will give you a haircut from Waterloo Barbers here in Derry Stoke, London. I don't think you want to come all this no, way to I get it. No, I wouldn't risk it, Jay. Uh, Johnny Patterson is going to give us a bag of coloured stone for the garden. Mm. That would do the grave, wouldn't it? You see, if you ever decide to die... No, but it would do you at somebody's grave. That's right. Put on a relative's grave. Exactly. Right. Exa exactly. Uh -huh. I'd never thought of that. that. I don't have any relatives. Well, I ha you have a mother and a father. I right? have indeed, yes. Eddie, ha my, my mother's alive, yes. Aye, well, then you must have a father. Yeah, hold on a minute. Uh, uh -huh. What? What? <laughs> For what? Pardon? Sorry, a lady, uh, sorry about that. A lady rang in to say, can she fax or email for a number on the rickety wheel? Yes, of course, as long as it's on paper, Sean. As long as it's on paper. Eddie Hanna from the North Down and Arts Institute of Firth. Listen, if you interrupt me once more, I'm telling you, they don't have to phone. But what, see, what's I the difference it? in an email and a fax? I'll tell you what the difference and is. And phone. I'll tell you what the difference is because on this program, as you well know, I am talking to the yeah. people. Yes. People are asking me to put their names down and I'm saying yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm assuming that the people behind the glass like yourself are oh, listening, I'm but you're not, not listening. Asleep. So the point is, when the people okay, say... Okay, I'll post it in the... No, sorry, I'm not talking to you. It's not me. I'm, sh I'm not shouting at you. I'm shouting at these right. people in here. Right. You have to have it on paper. Uh-huh. It has to be on paper. Right. All right? Right. Right, Martin. Right. So, um, okay, the Eddie Hanna from the North Down and Ours Institute of Further and Higher Education will give one free place on one of their 10-week leisure programs with the School of Communication Studies and the Arts during the spring term, January to April. Here's one. Jim McDowell at the Sunday World has donated a chauffeur limousine service which will pick you up at your home and take you to the new Benedict's Hotel in Belfast. You'll have a meal for two and your photograph will be published without fail in that next Sunday's edition of the Sunday World. That would be nice. Right. Michael Collins is going to give us a tempo web. What's that? Oh he's, going, oh, he's going to create a website and host it on the internet for a year. How would you like a website on the internet for a year? Well, I don't have it. I don't have a computer. Yeah. No, I'm not into that, Jay. Lynn McFadden says the Lynn's colleagues and students in the Department of Creative and Health Studies at the Belfast Institute are offering a full makeover to one lucky winner. Oh, yeah, now that would appeal them. Right. I John do, Ross that. in Ross Cycles Castle Welling is contributing two prizes, one rally helmet and two hire bikes for a day. <laughs> you see, look at the variety here. Mm -hmm. Mike Jones, the Dundonald Physiotherapy and Sports Injury Clinic are donating a full body massage. <laughs> right, and Tommy Maguire, a weekend for four persons. Accommodation only? He's getting a bit mean on that, isn't he? That's the Drumshane Hotel in Lisnerick in Irvinstown. Or in Lisnerick. Now, Jerry Kelly has donated four tickets to his show or a special appearance in the Mugs game or his mobile telephone number. One of the three. Isn't that good? Great. Right, I'll you send think... it in. You I think I'm making these up, don't you? Pardon? You think I'm making these up. I but these are I actual... think you're wind up, Jack. No, these are actual prizes. Right. Terry if I Brown... don't get something, God help you. Terry Brown from the old schoolhouse in Castle Espy. You will be collected by limo. You'll have a meal for two and can stay overnight in the bridal suite. In the old schoolhouse in Castle Espy. That's beside where the ducks are. Mm -hmm. 
That's not a good prize. Quack, quack. Mm -hmm. Mick from Oma, one day's ice skating in the River Strew during early July. I think that's a booby prize somehow. Roy West is going to contribute six rolls of wood chip and four barters. John Gabby is giving up a signed photograph of George Jones. W. Cooper, free boiler service anywhere in the great Belfast area. In other words, if your boiler's jippy, the man will come immediately. And Ian Burnley has given us a poof ape or a signed photograph of uh, Julian Simmons, whichever you prefer. Uh, Ivan, you're getting tired now, aren't you? Is it OK? Well, I'd jump me to carry on here. No, I'll send it in, Derek. I'll All right, then. You've, he you've heard enough. Uh-huh. Uh, no, hold on a minute. Let me just tell you these prizes. And then I want to ask you at the end the one that catches your fancy. Ivor Edmund is going to send on behalf of Moore and Compost two, two £100 prizes. But that's two £100 prizes. Porta Ferry, a butcher, turkey. Margaret, a Sunday lunch for four and a bottle of wine at Murloch Tavern, Main Street in Dundrum, County Down. Mature student is going to give one box of Walker's crisps. Um, mature student also is going to give uh, a night's free drinking in the Countryman Inn in Glenavy. Now, that's a, that's a cracker. You have to go in on your own and you have to drink until you can stand no more. And I don't know if I can accept that or not because somebody could be killed there. Karen McLaughlin, lunch for two at the Northwest Institute restaurant, Derrick London, Derry, any Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. And Bill Roach, is, Bill Roach has contributed a Coca Cola goodie bag. And I've seen that, and it's a cracker. <sighs> So that's it so far. Very good. And there's more stuff upstairs. Of course, we forgot about the William McRae CDs, videos, and indeed, uh, calendar. Mm -hmm. So it's coming in thick and fast. Mm -hmm. So there you are. You see, it's not a wind-up at all. Mm -hmm. You happy enough then? Uh-huh. Uh, I mentioned the four rows of wood chip paper, yes. Did anyone else, any, is there a prize there that caught your fancy there, by any chance? Well, a meal for two wouldn't go wrong. All right then. Okay. Jim Madol's offer. All right then. That New Benedict's Hotel. Mm -hmm. That's the one you want. Collected by Limousine, your photograph on the Sunday. What? That would be nice. All right, then. Okay, well, just send us a send us a wee piece of paper with your name, name on it. Okay. All right, then. Right, then. Yeah. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 I have a feeling I was talking too much there. I don't know. It just came over me. I was so excited by the prizes, especially by the photo, signed photograph of George Jones. How he gives that up, I don't know. I have one, and I've had it for years, and I wouldn't give it to anybody. Here's another song from uh, Henry McCullough's uh, CD. This is uh, Josie Gerva, who uh, sings with him. And this is a song written by her. It's called uh, Take Me Down to Your Level. Boys. I have a feeling she's not from Port Stewart. As a matter of fact, I'm absolutely positive she's not from Port Stewart, or a hochel either. She seems almost foreign. But this is good. I enjoy this. I'm going to play every track in the CD before the end of this program today. Take me down to your level. In the morning when the sun is rising, I get this feel inside me. I feel so lonely, I like to kill you. In the night when the moon is shining, and the devil is about his prisoner, I just like to be there with you. 